Our first game back after the trade deadline, I didn't know what to expect. I'm going to be honest, I didn't expect this. 135 to 106 against the defending champs? Without MPJ, but who gives a damn? DeMontis Sabonis. Oh my gosh. 17 points, 17 boards, 10 assists. He is the leading triple double. Or he, he has the most triple doubles in the league this year. And he's not an all star. Think about that. He solidified all NBA team. Up to this point, there's without a doubt, he is minimum, in my opinion, second team all NBA. The availability is the best ability. And last night, that boy, DeMontis the bonus, balled the f out. 78% from the field. But Nicole Jokic also did Nicole Jokic. Same 23 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists. But the one thing that stood out to me was Jamal Murray. Six turnovers. Okay. That number was 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 very good for us, but not good for them. Having six turnovers against a team like us who likes to run in transition, who likes to get transition points, who likes to sc score as soon as you score. Like meaning as soon as that ball goes through the net, ball's in about it, ball's going the other way. We love to play at a, at, a, at a super fast pace, so having those turnovers really helped us last night. They had 20 turnovers to our, I believe we had 16. Um, we played pretty good in terms of on, on, on the defensive side. It was a close game up until, I think, about midway through the third, leading into the fourth, is when we started to pull away a little bit. But also, that boy De'Aaron Fox. That boy De'Aaron Fox. Wasn't as aggressive on the offensive end. Only 15 points. 10 assists, by the way. Double-double. But he had five steals. Let's go to his last five games and see what his steals are like. It's all going to make sense in a minute why, why, why I'm bringing up his steals. Five steals last night. The other night he had three, two, five, and six. De'Aaron Fox turned in a two-year $105 million deal recently. I'm going to say that again. A two-year, $105 million deal. It's about 50-plus million a year. In hopes of getting a Supermax. Now, all you need to qualify for a Supermax is in an extension year, you have to be an all-NBA team. Or on an all-NBA team. Or have all-NBA honors. People forget. They think it's only the first, second, or third team all-NBA. But no, no, no. It's all-NBA honors. If you make a first or second all-NBA defensive team, you can get a super max. I think De'Aaron has shifted out, out of the first, second, third team all NBA, and he's focusing primarily on making the first or second team all defensive or, or, or the first and second all defensive teams, right? Right now, currently, he is sitting at number two in steals per game behind Shea Gilgis Alexander, who will probably also make an all NBA defensive team. De'Aaron is in a very good spot here to get the Supermax, which is four years, $245 million, which averages out to $61 million a year. Bank roll, please. That's the average, by the way. Usually it starts off smaller and it increases by year. Speaking of big increases, DeMontis is a bonus is getting $41 million next year because of the $217 million contract we just gave him this offseason. Or I believe it, it was his offseason before the season started. Yeah, I believe. Uh, but yeah, he, he signed for $217 million with us. So he's getting $41 million next year. If we sign De'Aaron to that Supermax, man, <laughs> Sacramento Kings, brother, we got us one. We finally locked in the long-term PG that we haven't had in a minute. In a minute. Also, I learned something new every single day. I was looking at something, right? De'Aaron Fox is five steals. Let's, let's click on that game real quick. I didn't know on, on, on this right here that a jump ball, right? So if I'm on defense and you're on offense per se and I cause a jump ball and I win the jump ball, it counts as a steal. This counted as a – let me turn the sound off. This counted as a steal. Where have I been? Man, this is all new to me. I, I honestly did know that. If you knew that, let me know in the comments below. First of all, before I even go any further, hit that like button, man. We trying to get this channel to 3,000 subs organically. And, you know, a like button goes a long way. Now, back to what we were talking about here last night's game. Um, Malik Muck. Malik Muck. Blank check. Blank check. Whatever you want, my brother. On this check, we will give it to you. 23 points last night while shooting 69% from the field from a guard is unbelievable. 
if he's consistent, the Kings will be persistent. He is one of the main spark plugs in our engine. Very pivotal to the team's success. If this is the Malik Monk, like I've been saying, that we will get night in, night out. If that's a De'Aaron Fox, we get in night in, night out on offense and defense. And we know we're going to get some bonus night in, night out being a force interior, right? If we can get those three guys clicking every single night, we can allow or, 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 or we can account for a Keegan Murray, a Kevin Herter, or a Harrison Barnes having an off night, as long as those three are having good nights. But if those three are having good nights and a Kevin Herter to add – and then Keegan Murray to add on that? Oh, my gosh, bro. We're really hard to beat when we have four of those five guys going. If we have five of those guys going, GG's. And if we have a six and Harrison Barnes going with that, oh, my gosh. Talk about clicking on all cylinders. The Sacramento Kings, after the trade deadline, like I said, they have shocked me. They have surprised me. Um, I, I am just ecstatic with how we performed last night. Usually after a trade deadline, the people who were on the block, they tend to dwindle down and kind of just give you the, ah, nigga, I'm, I did just enough to stay on the team. Now I'm here, at least for the rest of the year, right? Now you can't trade me. But they still played up to the expectations that we've seen bef- during the trade rumors, right, before the trade deadline ended. So I'm excited uh, to see Kevin Herter continue to ball out. And Harrison Barnes, you know, he was chilling last night again. I think he's kind of... It's it's weird. Once he was in that trade rumor in the thick of it, back to back thirty balls. Now it's died down. He made it past trade deadline. I guess he's going back to chilling. Six shots a game, which is cool. Last night we didn't. It, it didn't ask him to be aggressive on the offensive end. So I'm not even mad at that at all. Um, back to the defensive. Back to the uh, the defensive side of things for De'Aaron Fox. I want to also touch on one more point here. Let's look at last year's all defensive team. Right, first team we got Alex Caruso, Drew Holiday, Jaron Jackson Jr., Brooke Lopez, Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley. I can't even talk today. Damn. Second team, Bam Adebayo, OG Anobi, Dylan Brooks, Draymond Green, Derek White. Out of these 10, I believe De'Aaron Fox can replace one of these 10 this year and secure the Super Max. You can almost bet your bottom dollar on it. I think that's what he's going for. It's, it's pretty evident now. I think he's kind of letting DeMontis the bonus, take more of the offensive prowess, uh, be that be that main guy that we play through. And De'Aaron's picking his spots on the offensive end. Of course, he's still averaging 26, 27 points a game, which is phenomenal. Um, but I think I think he's focused on that defensive team first or second, y'all. I think that's where he gets the supermax. I think that's where he solidifies it, and I think that's where the Sacramento Kings sign him and can sign him long term. We are interested, anyways, in signing him a, a long term contract. So the supermax will just be more of an incentive to say, "Hey, man, we're giving you sixty one million a year. You're here." Now it's time for you to do your Doug Dizzle, Doug Dizzle, speak English, Sal. And perform. <laughs> but that's my spiel. Sayonara. If you haven't liked the video, like the video. If you haven't subscribed, we are almost at 3K, like I said, trying to get there organically. Appreciate y'all. And don't forget, when it's cold outside, and the electricity might go off, you might have a power outage. You tucking your kids in at night. And your flashlights, because it's cold, and ain't no heat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't turn the heater on. Or you got to have a generator and all that shit. Yeah. Don't forget to like the motherfucking beat. <laughs> Sayonara. Catch you on the next one. We out of here.